Ha ha ha, how's it going bros? Dead Spikes here. And today I'm gonna make a video talking about how to get all of the beetles in Zelda Tears of the Kingdom. For reference, here is one of the beetles. There's also an electric one and a stumpy one, I think. There's also some elixir that drops from what we're doing here too. Um, Alright, so what you're gonna want to do is unlock Korok Forest. This is the best place to farm this, in my opinion. You can in other places. But this is the best place. If you don't know how to unlock Korok Forest, I will have the video that I made for it in the description. So make sure to go check that out. Alright, once you have unlocked Korok Forest, let's go ahead and spawn in here. There's the shrine. And you're going to want to go behind the shrine. Go this way over here. Go up this hill here. You're going to need a weapon that can cut trees down. That's kind of like the only requirement. I guess maybe a bow to kill these other guys. So, this is the area we're going to farm up here. You have to make sure not to kill the tree guys, but we're going to kill everything else. So all the skeletons. All you got to do is shoot their head and they just die. There we go. That should be all skeletons dead, I believe. Oh, there's one more. Two more? Oh, there's a few more. Man, these trees bullying me. There we go. That's all skeletons dead. Yep. Oh, there, oh, there's another one. Holy crap. Be good. Okay. Then I make my way to the shrine here. And then equip the weapon that you want to kill the trees with. So I'm going to be using this Lionel Reaper. And save your game. Now these enemies right here. Pick out your camera. You can see them. The ever means. You can kill them anywhere in the game. But these are the things that drop all these beetles. So just go up to them and kill them. Check their drops. Just by clicking A over a bunch of them. And you can see we didn't get a beetle there. So what we're going to do, we're going to load our last save again. And you're just going to keep doing this non-stop until you get the drop that you want. You can do this with every enemy type in the game. But to get these beetles, we have to farm these ever means. And I believe there's five in this area. And there's two more on the other side of Korok Forest. Let's kill them quick. Pick up the drops and check them. Alright. Only got lizards on that one. I'll show you guys one more attempt here. And if I don't get it, then I'll just... Uh, I'll record when I do get a drop. And I'll show you guys. Uh... Okay. Okay. Nope, I didn't get one on that one. So now I'll show you an attempt on when I get the drop. Alright, so in this run, I actually got three drops. I was pretty lucky. Um, there's four trees here. I was wrong before. And it looks like there's a chance that they could drop two items at once. Um, so we see the rugged rhino beetle drops here. And we also got a monster extract just from that tree. I wouldn't recommend doing all in one run like I am, but I only needed one more beetle. That's why I did it like this. I would do one at a time. And you can see I got a second monster extract off of that one. So now on this run, I get two drops again, and it's the other two drops that can come. So you get monster extract, rugged, beetle, and then we're going to see the other two here. All right, there's the energetic rhino beetle. Now, since I've already got the bladed beetle, you're not going to see it pop up like that. But look on the bottom right. The bladed rhino beetle. I got both of those in one run, which is possible. Now, whatever beetle you're going for, like I said, I would, I would only farm one tree at a time. And then once you get it, save and start doing the next one. Since I only needed one drop, I just did all four. Um, but yeah, you guys should be able to get all the beetles you need by this farm. Um... There are four trees on this side of Korok Forest, and then there's two more on the other side. Any Evermean you find on the map, though, you can farm. It doesn't have to be Korok Forest. I just find a lot in one place. 
If you guys found this video helpful or enjoyable, please hit that thumbs up button. If you want some more helpful tutorials like this in the future, make sure to subscribe to the channel. Have a wonderful day, everybody. I'll see you in the next one. This is Bikes out.